most talented. What do we tell us that? Top to bottom, right? What's going on, top? Why the Rams are calcium? Think, say, say one more time, Rick. Did you make a we did it? That is what, yeah, we did it. But that is what we're looking for, okay? So remember, we get here, I always go back to the original question, which was uh, how many grams. So go back to that question, and that'll help you with that last one. Because the last one will always be in the question, okay? Grams of calcium. So the last uh, on top will always be in that question. So what number goes here? What number goes here? Now watch this. Answer 40.08. What was the answer to 8? It was what? 40.08. 40.08. Look at those two. Can you see why you got the same answer? Can you see why you got the same answer? Can you really? Okay. Somebody stand up and explain it. I can't see why. My name is Jalen, and uh, it's the same answer because you're looking for the same thing. What do you mean we're looking for the same thing? In both, in both colleges, we're looking for grams of calcium. Okay, that, that helps a little bit. Now, I could have I could have told you had two moles of calcium hydroxide and asked you for grams of calcium. The answer wouldn't have been the same. You still look for grams of calcium. That's it. Both it was both one mole. Okay, so that's the answer. Both of them was one mole. That's what you were looking for, just one mole. So if you're looking for one mole of calcium, one mole of calcium has the same as one mole of calcium, no matter where it's at, it's one mole of calcium. So up at the top, I just gave you one mole of calcium. I actually just said that, right? In this one, I asked you to find how much calcium was in one mole of calcium hydroxide. In one mole of calcium hydroxide, how many moles of calcium do you have? You got one mole of calcium. So what's the mass of that one mole of calcium? See? Same answer, right? Okay. Well, we tried. Um, I know we can't make some things. Okay, go ahead and look at number two. Do, do I have any questions, by the way? About, no, about number one. Any questions? Okay. Um, Let's do this then. For, for, um, we're going to look at two in a second. But we're going to do this. So we, we're going to do a one minute one. So I'm going to put one on the board, a different one on the board. And just tell me, just write it down on your whiteboard. And let's see if we have everybody standing in less than a minute. Okay. So you're going to have 30 grams of. Um, 30 grams, I'm going to give y'all something easy. Water, okay? And that's got to equal to the blank uh, grams of um, hydrogen. Okay, let's see if we can do that very quick. Yeah. Do y'all know I haven't done the math on this? So whoever raised your hand the first time, make sure you do the math. <laughs> Because I'm going to be checking your process, not, not so much your math. It's little bitty things that make you do it, get it wrong. So check your work for the little bitty thing. Make sure if you put however many hydrogens or whatever, make sure you look at that formula.
Remember now, all you, we, hey, look now, my helper, make sure they put got those units written down and not just an answer. Now remember this, your bridge, right? You gotta need if you need a bridge, your bridge. Your bridge gotta go from the known to the unknown, from what you from one substance to the different, from what you started with to what you're ending with. Okay, you gotta remember that. Remember something real simple is top to what? Bottom. Top to bottom. So remember, make sure you got your top and your bottom looking the same. Make sure you, you're doing that. Because we gotta move forward. Okay? One one minute we move forward. So you gotta you gotta hurry up and get your finished product. We got less than half of the class standing. Which means that if we took the test, we won't be going to Okay, now, now I need everybody to listen. If you're on this half of the room, listen up. If you li listen, if you're on this half of the room right here, toward over this way, I want you to just come back here and look at this whiteboard. Bring yours back. Look at, see what you did wrong. This half of the room. Uh uh. Y'all go back. Y'all see. Yeah, you can go. Okay, this half of the room. Raise your hand. My help is gonna help you. Okay, so go around and help somebody. And if you don't have anybody to help, then go back here to the whiteboard and help whoever they have a question back here. No, if you have a, if you have a question, just ask. Well, what, how do you know? Why would you do the bridge? Okay, no, no, no. You said we do the bridge on the right. Right, the question is, how do you know you do the bridge? Right. The question is, how do you know you do the bridge? So are you going to another thing? Okay, good. Not when Moses at the bottom. Moses at the bottom just tell you when to, at what step to use. Right, at which step. Not, not that you have to use. So you went from grams to grams, and you got the molar mass right, mm -hmm. so that's good. And then you went to moles of H2O. Yeah. That's good. Then you had to go from what? The mm -hmm. moles of H2O, I didn't have to Moles of what H. now? Moles of H. In, at the bottom. You had to go, you got moles of H2O uh -huh. at the top. So what was going to be here at the bottom? Moles of H2O. Moles of H2O, right? And then where were you going? Don't look at the problem. And then you'll go to moles of H. Then you went to, that's your bridge, right? Mm -hmm. So you went from the known to the unknown in that step. Then you got your bridge. Y'all got questions? Do you understand? Yeah. What, what did you make your mistake? I made my mistake by doubting myself. I didn't have to put it on the mask for hydrogen right here. All right, everybody should be. All right, now you all, we're going to do this next thing. Okay, everybody come on back. Let's refocus. All right, now, does anybody have a question just for me? That, that we're going to dance this and you, you have a question. We're not going to do another. Okay? We'll get this later as we move forward. We'll do some more of these, but we're not going to do one right now. Okay, so let's look at question two now. Go ahead very quickly, and let's look. What does question two ask us? Have you already read it? 
The first part. We got to have 10 conversion factors, right? Now, what are conversion factors? Not that Avogadro's number is, Avogadro's conversion factor is a conversion factor, but what is a conversion factor? You gave me an example of one, but what is it? Yeah, what? Y'all remember, somebody stand up and then I can know who's talking. If you know, if you're pretty sure. Okay, a conversion factor does convert units. Okay, so that's good. Can somebody else add on to that? Well, you use a conversion factor, but that doesn't tell, that tells me when I use it after the given. A conversion factor compares one thing to what? Another. It compares one quantity to another quantity. And are the two quantities the same? They're not necessarily be the same, but they are similar to each other, and uh, they are uh, proportional to each other. Okay? They're not, not necessarily the same but similar and proportional. For instance, if I was, if I was making uh, some coffee, right? Well, for coffee, I need 20 ounces of water with H2O. And I need one gram of coffee. And for me, I need one ice cube. Don't ask me why, <laughs> okay? I need one ice cube, okay? So. Somebody tell me a conversion factor I could make out of that recipe for making my coffee. Just stand up and tell me if you know. Are they conversion factor I could make out of that? Not quite. What I want to do, thank you so much. What I want to do is I want to make a conversion factor out of these recipes, uh, out of these ingredients that I have for my recipe for my coffee. Because all of this would make what? A one cup of coffee. Let me add that. Maybe.